Welcome to the video. This is Alex and you're looking at our reputation management dashboard. Um, if you are a customer of removemymugshot.org, Proven Removals or Incept Technologies, which is the parent company of both of those sites, Incept Technologies, uh, you'll have access to this dashboard and we'll send you a custom login where you can log in and see your information. So this is the URL that you will see. It's um, I'll send it to you in email so that way you'll have it. And then once you come to that URL, you'll see a login page similar to this. You can enter in your email address and password and then log in. And then you'll basically come to this initial page. So this initial page will have different things listed here, such as data breaches and uh, privacy information, things that you should just be aware of because um, most of our clients are privacy focused and we do advocate for privacy on the internet and it is one of our core values. So since this is basically the launch of this product and we're still working out some additional features there is no information there yet you will most likely see this video appear there by the time that you log into it um, and then on the left we have another product that we're working on it's a privacy protector um, so you most likely won't see that link there and then you will see your name that name or your name you would click on and it's going to basically bring you to our core product here so you're going to have the dashboard it's going to have up top in the upper left, you'll see the name of the individual. So if it's for yourself or somebody else, that person's name, and then the geographical location that we're using um, when we search. So when we run these searches, it's going to be that name, and then it's going to be that location. So we're going to go through all these different boxes so that way you can kind of get a grasp of what we have. So I'm just going to scroll down real quick so you can see uh, there's a good bit of information that's listed in here. So the first page here is going to be, or the first upper left quadrant, you're going to see Google image results. So most of our clients, when they initially come to us, it's because they have an image on the internet or in their search results that they want to get rid of. So here you could see the top, I believe it might be 100 images. So it's paginated based on 10 um, images since the first 10, generally 10 results would be a page in Google's organic results. In the search results, it can really just depend um, as to whether or not you have a film strip, how big that film strip is, uh, and so forth. So that's why we kind of just pull uh, the first, I believe it's 100. Let's go to that back here and see. Yes, yeah, so we have 100 results. So here you can see like the first page is Business Alabama, um, which is a press release we did a while ago. And let me actually scroll over here so we can see everything. So you could see basically the uh, image dimensions um, you could see the actual image url and then you can see the link to the page that contains that image and then you can see the title of that page and then you can see the position of that page and then you can see the search query which generally is going to be your name it's always going to be the name of the person unless it's a business sometimes we have people who want to run this for their business so if you click on the result, it'll give you more in-depth information. So you can see that actual image result link. So that's going to take you to the page. So that's the page and then all the information that's listed there. And then if you go back and you click this, that's going to take you to the actual digital asset. So that's a digital asset that is appearing on that particular page. It's also going to tell you the position, again, the query, the title, and uh, the dimensions. And then it does say image type, so it might tell you if it's JPEG, PNG. It doesn't look like that's enabled, and it's not really that relevant. Um, so this is kind of the information that you'll get in the image results. So this is basically like if you were on Google, you search Google, and you click the Images tab. And those images do appear in film strips as well. And then so the quadrant to the right is going to be Bing. And you can see, actually, there's a film strip here. So the Bing uh, result is essentially just an iframe. Um, Bing isn't that popular of a search engine, so there aren't a lot of tools that are developed really to grab data um, through the API. Um, we are working on possibly doing that if that's something that our clients ask for, if it's something that um, people are interested in. Generally, we don't get that much of an inquiry for Bing. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of market share. And I want to say generally the most of the people that use Bing either don't know how to change the default search engine or they're possibly on a work computer where they're not allowed to download software and they're basically stuck with um, Internet Explorer. I think it's called Edge now, but essentially Microsoft's browser that comes with Windows. So if you look here, you'll see again um, some of the top results. 
And you can see where they kind of mirror these images results here. So we have like Business Alabama. We had the LinkedIn page that came up. We have USF Academia page um, from um, alma mater. Then you have our YouTube channel, Incept Design, which is the website for Incept Technologies. Uh, my personal website, Amazon, uh, another LinkedIn, but that's actually somebody different who has a similar name. And then it looks like an about.me page, which is also a great profile to set up if you are looking to kind of control your search results for your name. So looking again at this Bing kind of page, so what we just basically did was take the Bing browser and just plop it right in there. So it's technically what we'd call an iframe. Google definitely would not allow you to do such a thing. So hopefully Bing is okay with us doing that and they'll allow it to continue. Um, so scrolling through here, you're basically going to see just what you would see on Bing. And if you were interested in the images, you could just click images and you would see what images appear. And you can see they kind of mirror some of the results that are here, like uh, Business Alabama, that looks like LinkedIn. Um, this is a press release. This is some social media site and so forth. So if we go back to search, you can see again, top page is LinkedIn. And then you have like a snippet that comes up. I'm not sure exactly how they're pulling this snippet, but these are all different. Um, none of this is related to me. And then here you have the image film strip, which is uh, a picture of myself again from that Business Alabama press release. My link, or this is actually a picture from a different press release, People on the Move. This is a press release, or excuse me, a picture from Muckrack, which is a database for journalists. This is just a social media site, Cameo, and then it looks like this is a Red Edit post, which is interesting. I did just see a story today that said that Red Edit is blocking all search engines besides Google, since Google bought them, which is kind of interesting. We'll see how that plays out. And then again, you can see our company website, Incept Technologies, LLC. A YouTube interview I did with uh, Ronald Osborne of Osborne Digital Marketing. And it looks like I took some snippets and made some shorts on YouTube and that's ranking. And the Business Journal press release again, a press release for our company, our YouTube channel, Incept Design. So you kind of get the gist. So it's showing you all the search results that appear um, inside of Bing. So that kind of covers the first two boxes or quadrants. Now we go into this. Uh, middle of the page, you're actually going to get something called recent mentions. So this is basically software that is scraping or monitoring the internet for things that were recently said um, about you. So it could either be about you or your business, because some people do use this service to monitor their business just for kind of brand sentiment. So looking here, we're going to have two different pages and we have the results kind of a little bit longer just simply because there's a decent amount of information. Now it is in reverse. So the most recent information is actually at the bottom. So we have to fix that. It's a little bug that we didn't realize until we're actually testing and running through the software. But we figured it's good to just to go ahead and roll it out. And then we can go back and, and take care of that. So looking here, you can actually see uh, some mentions from the 24th, which is actually yesterday. This video is being recorded on the 25th. And uh, just to prove that to you, we'll go to uh, the, let's see if the weather channel comes up. So you can see Weather Channel. I don't know if it's going to have a date on here or not. Yeah, there we go. So July 25th, 2024. Weather Channel, whale capsizes the boat, which is a crazy video if you saw that. So going back here, you can see, so yesterday we have mentioned, so we basically had a press release that was released yesterday covering this product, um, just letting people know that we do offer this. So you can see here that those results are listed, and it's going to kind of give you some information. So you would have the date that that result was found. And you can see there's a, there's a good amount of them that were found um, yesterday from the uh, release that went out. And it'll be interesting to see how many more get picked up by the software versus what the uh, company says that they have syndicated it to. So you can see the date when that result was found. If it's a web result, if it came from a social media site like YouTube or Twitter, you can see the title of that page you could see the snippet of the page. So basically like a meta description. And if you hover over that, you can actually see it. So Incept Technologies, the parent company of removemymugshot.org is proud to announce the launch of its innovative reputation monitoring service. And then you can actually see what URL, or excuse me, I think this is, the, this is an image. So if there's an image associated with that snippet, that shows you that URL. 
And then this shows you essentially, I believe, the icon or favicon of the site, which basically isn't that relevant. The most relevant thing you're probably going to want to see is the title, the snippet, and the source, and probably when it came out. So that is the middle section. It's essentially recent mentions or mentions about you. We're working on another feature that will allow you to get a real-time text or email um, when these different things are found. Um, so that is something that we'll be rolling out in the future. And then last but not least, you're going to have the organic Google search results. So this is going to show you essentially what you would see in Google if you were to search either the name or the business name or brand name and in that particular geographical location. So you'll see the position, so where it ranks in Google. You'll see the actual domain that is publishing that page. You'll see the URL for that specific page. You'll see the title of that page. And then you'll also see the meta description for that page. And then if you want to see more information, you can click on that result. And again, it's going to show you where it came from, organic results, what page it's on, the position, the domain, the URL, the title of that page, and a description. So if you click here, it'll actually take you to that page in case you actually wanted to view that page and see what the information is about or what the page is about or so forth, or if you don't recognize the page, things like that. So and you can kind of see here, we have like, you know, YouTube, we have Twitter, we have LinkedIn, we have Quora, we have HG experts, um, different stuff. TikTok, TikTok isn't me, um, but it does rank really well. Um, and IMDB, different things, Instagram. So you can see basically everything that's coming up for, I believe it's the first 100 results. Um, each 10 results is a page. So let's see, yeah, Pinterest. So then we can go here in the bottom and then you can click that second um, thing. So it looks like we have 85 results. And then we'll go ahead and, and scroll to the next thing and you can see Again, what else is in the results? But the ones that you should really only be focused on, well, you shouldn't only be focused on, but the most visible results are basically here. Like you're gonna have the first three results get about, I'd say half of the volume or search volume or views or clicks from the people that are searching. And then, you know, the other half, or like I'd say maybe 40%, 45% would probably be from four to 10. And then you have about three, two to 3% going from 11 all the way to 85. So unless somebody's really digging for something or super, super, super interested or engaged in a topic, they're generally not gonna go past that. So this covers everything that is in our reputation managing or reputation management software, um, reputation monitoring software, I should say. Um, and again, you know that welcome page, you can always go back there and it should show you some additional information. There'll be a form there that we're gonna add as well in this video. And then if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is alex at incept design, or you can reach me at admin at removemymugshot.org. And also you can reach me at alex at provenremovals.com as well, since we do run a few different sites. If you have any questions regarding the reputation management service or how to get it set up, or if you wanted to modify it, those are all great emails to reach me at. And if you want to give me a call, my number is 813. 4214113 and I'll have that information under the video and thank you for your time and we hope to see you as a client